Well, hello once again, YouTube. It is Manny Gatora back again in much more rapid succession than I'm used to. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play of The Walking Dead Season 2. I'm going to be playing Episode 3 in Harm's Way, which is was just made available quite recently. I'm super excited for this. Uh, I just saw my roommate playing some of it uh, the other night, so I got a little bit spoiled for me, but not too much, so this is still going to be, for the most part, a fresh-faced review and playthrough of the game. Uh, I just finished my Let's Play of The Wolf Among Us about two days ago, so if you want to check that out, uh, go check out my channel. There will be a link in the uh, annotation somewhere at some point. Just keep an eye out for it. Maybe I'll sneak it in there somewhere where you won't expect it. Probably not, because I'm not that exciting. Anyway, this is a game based on the comic books and the TV show The Walking Dead, uh, created originally by Robert Kirkman, and the TV show was the first season, the only good season, was directed by Frank Darabont. Go watch the first season and then ignore the fact that any more of it exists at all, because it's not worth it. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and get to the game now. Enjoy. It has been quite a while since I played Episode 2, so there's going to be a lot of stuff I probably don't really what remember. Do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Family. Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. <laughs> Poor guy. Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you Oh, that's right. They totally shot that dude in the head. I forgot about that part. And that other dude, too. We're going home. But Kenny is still alive, which is good, because Kenny is pretty awesome. I love Kenny. And then everybody got abducted. Except, I guess, I think Luke didn't? I don't honestly remember. It's just a tree, Clem. Oh, there's a butterfly, or a moth. Whichever. I've only ever stared at a tree that intently once, and I, it's because I was stoned and was pretty sure it was talking to me. Oh, it flew away before I clicked on it. You about done over Sad. I didn't think that would happen. Yeah, one second. Thanks for coming with me. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's so nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah, I know. But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. Oh, Clem, you are the grown-uppest little girl in the world, probably. Everything come out all right, girls? Fuck you, Try creep. Everything come out all right, girls? What the hell kind of creepy child rapist shit is that? Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Like I could fucking avoid it. Where's your manners? I used to have a walkie-talkie like that. Oh, really? And what happened to it? Because you can't have this one. That's none of your business. Oh, son of a bitch! I did not see that coming. I'll pass every time. I don't think that counts as a pass. I'm pretty sure hitting a child in the face counts as failing any given test. Bonnie, why the hell are you helping this asshole? I liked you in 400 days. Yeah, so far as I can tell, Bonnie is the first of the 400 days characters to show up in Season 2. I'm interested to see when and how the other characters will show up. The hell did he do to you? Hey, did he hurt you? 
yeah, Kenny, I don't think you're really in any position to try and fuck with these guys as much as I appreciate it. Pretty sure anybody living in a zombie apocalypse is in harm's way all the time. You go, Derek Sakai. There's some pretty great artwork in this game. I like that the, the Telltale games are some of my favorite games, and they're also some of the some of the games I can say are really well made that weren't made by like 400 fucking people. I think these games are a really good piece of evidence that the whole company developed AAA style isn't always a good thing. Truck's empty. First off, we're in it, so it ain't exactly empty. If you don't want to help, then just say so, okay? I'll do it myself. Damn, Kenny, you don't have to be Kenny such a dick. Here. We gotta do something about Sit that. Down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill. Oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. Come on, Kenny. I like you, but I like Nick, too. Don't be a dick. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. Is he... Is he gonna kill us? I don't think so. He ain't gonna get the fucking chance. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lot. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. Like you helped out him. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. Oh, God. I'm going to have to use that on somebody at some point. Y'all don't know what you're talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Stop fighting! Please. will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> there, there, there. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. No, it's not. Everything is not gonna be fine. We're the prisoner of a fucking madman who's apparently got a goddamned army, and we're living in a zombie fucking apocalypse. The biggest lie you could tell anybody at this point is everything will be fine. It's all we can do. She's right. There's no way to know what's happened to him. I've told you already. He's gone. We're close. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. <laughs> Damn it, Kenny. This is the stuff that's why I love you. I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see, take his gun, and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Please, just, just listen to them. I, I'm scared, Kenny. Okay, hon. That's okay. That's okay. All right. Kenny! Oh, God. Kenny, okay? That's a door to the face. I think so. I feel like I owe some kind of loyalty to Kenny just because he's, he and Clem are, as far as I'm aware, the last two characters from the first game that are still alive. I, I feel like I should help him as much right. as I can. Get your restraints off. Come here. We've got some familiar faces back with us tonight. Now, I understand some of you are confused as to why we bring these people back when they left us as they did. 
think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. Be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make I think that other lady in the back with the big hair and the gun was also from 400 Days. I think she's the one who showed up at the end. Don't talk like you're some kind of fucking savior, Carver. Asshole. Come on, we need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. He'll be back. When? I don't know, but he will come back. Thanks, Clem. And with the added manpower joining us this evening, I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fence. Bill can see no if you're messing with it. Just to survive. It's our obligation to make this community a beacon of hope. Thanks, Barney. Yep. Y'all best get some rest, because there ain't going to be much for you tomorrow. You're going to be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold, but at least I'll be comfortable. Hey, guys. Reggie! <gasps> Who the fuck is Reggie? So and, whoa, so why is he missing an arm? Do to you? This could have been worse, trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. Is he her brother or no, something? It's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should say Reggie helped us you, but when we ran away. What happened to his arm? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. Jesus, Carver does not fuck around. Snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. That's awful. I'm so sorry. Look, it was my choice to help you guys. Hey, Ridge. Oh, hey, Troy. Don't go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. So it's basically a zombie protection slash labor camp. Oh, right. right. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey. Uh, Hello. Who are you? This freaks you out. My name's Clementine. It's very nice to meet you, Clementine. Hey, where's Carlos? Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Was I guess Pete is one of the ones who died? Can you guys yeah. save it for the morning? What the hell's this asshole? Who's that? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but... Like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. Bill put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Why is she off by herself? Hmm? Who? Her, over there. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just, like, the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stay out. Oh, so she used the tactic they used in the first really season of Walking Dead. Reggie, Cover themselves in no zombie guts and they won't be able to Where tell. Are you going to find food like
like we have. We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made... Yeah, through things. essentially slavery. That doesn't make up for what he's done, Reggie. Carver killed my friend Walter. Okay, I... I don't know what happened. But maybe he had his reasons. He killed Alvin, too. Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. We won't get you in trouble. They're expecting me to keep things in line out here. Well, if Carver's such a great guy, I'm sure you've got nothing to worry about. We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet night and chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. After what he did to Alvin, I want him dead. Well, you liked him enough to get fucked by him and have his baby, so maybe you need to get your priorities straight. Okay. Get this water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. <laughs> yeah, it's hard for things to go as planned when you don't have a plan. I don't think we can trust him. I mean, clearly, he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I think he's just scared. Everybody's scared. Ain't an excuse to sound like a nutcase. You gotta take a look around. We gotta know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Well, what should I be looking for? Stuff that they don't want us to know about. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on her. Why do I have to be the spy? Walker just snuck up on you, huh? Let me see here. Ooh, a big fish statue. Maybe I could wear it on my head and the zombies wouldn't come after me. Because they eat people, not fish. Right? Right? Who is she? I want to know more about this character, but the game won't let me. I'm wondering if maybe she's the lady from the first... from uh, season one. It's not. No, probably not. She never would have gotten caught. She was too smart. Hey, clown. Nick? Just thinking about Lou. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Because me, I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Us guys, you mean? Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should, too. They're going to ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Gross. I don't want them riding my ass. I hardly even know them. They should at least buy me a drink. Hmm. Looks rickety. Ricket, ricket. On my first day in the U.S., I stopped and got a coffee. And the One thing I do really hate about the walking around sections in this game is that there's no way to like walk any faster or actually run. That's when I thought I should really get out ahead of this. So it's from House or Hose, which is obviously just supposed to be a combination of Home Depot and Lowe's. Kind of clever, I guess. They do have the place pretty well barricaded, I'll give them that. This place seems pretty secure. 
living here wouldn't be bad. We just gotta kill Carver because he's a stupid fuck. I don't even know what the hell that would do. I really don't think this is a good idea, but I like to try and basically use every option the game throws at me and stuff like this just to see what happens. Hey, it, like you would have gotten like we'll you would have gotten that off there anyway. Wrong, just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? So what? I'm like a fucking like thirteen year old girl. What am I gonna do? Busted ass ladder. She always looks vaguely angry. Could use the combination of the rope and the ladder to get over the fence. Ouch. See, that's the thing. Zombies don't feel pain. So barbed wire would not be put there to keep zombies out. That is to keep people in. Barbed wire would do shit all to a zombie. Reminds me of the jewelry store. Clementine, nope. please. I asked really nicely. I don't want hey, to... what the hell is she doing? No, uh, nothing. <laughs> you know, kids, they love not listening. You had one job, Reggie. This is real disappointing. Damn it, now I feel like an asshole. Please, come on. Hey, don't be like that, man. You shut your fucking mouth. I don't know you. I don't know you. That's my pars. Dad! Oh, you're all fucked up now. Bill's gonna hear about this shit. Troy, please. Fuck you, Reggie. This is setting you back a few. Get comfortable, asshole. God it's damn it, I didn't want that to happen. No one's talking to you, Indian lady. Hey. Indian lady? What the fuck? It's fine, I am Indian. <laughs> she doesn't even care. Damn it, I didn't want to get Reggie in trouble. Now I feel like a fucking asshole. Ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. I'm ready. Of course I am. Good. Good. Confidence is good. You gotta have the right attitude. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Again, I'd rather not actually leave. I just want to kill Carver and have us take over this place and run it like, you know, sane people. Instead of a power-hungry madman dickface. Don't kick me. It's rude. Get up. Bill's gonna have a word. Man, fuck this guy. I hope he dies. I want his ass to get eaten by a walker. And I mean his ass. I want them to eat him ass first. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herd's moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now... There are some folks might be sore about what happened, and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. It's been like two days! You shot two people in the head! Fuck you, it's in the past! know that you can find redemption here. Forgiveness. By proving your worth. Through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Now, Reggie slipped up last night, but... That doesn't mean he should lose hope. Today will be a test for him. So let's all wish him the best of luck. How'd you sleep? Well, let Reggie be an example I to you all. I was so tired. Salvation is available, but... Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside the okay, wall. Okay, yeah. Sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing his value. Nice I know, Carlos! Right? God, God damn it, Sarah. Sarah shut up. Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. So, I'm um, sorry, sir. No, no, that ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. 
How do you propose that One I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. Wait. I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, could... that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some man... Oh, yeah, and not only did he shoot two people in the head, he also broke, like, all of the fingers on one of Carlos's hands. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Fuck, I'm just not going to say anything. It's not going to stop him anyway. It's probably only going to make things worse. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Close your eyes, honey. It's only going to stay for a second. God damn, I really want Carver to die. You're not coddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. Fuck these people. Damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Yeah, her. She's definitely the one who showed up at the end of 400 days. Clementine. So, we know they're having some equipment issues. Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and Sarah? Oh, and that's Shell and her sister. So Shell and Becca. Why is everybody from 400 Days all of a sudden an asshole? You got me to actually like the characters and then turn them all into stupid fucks that I hate. Except Bonnie, she's like the only one not being a total bitch. That's easy enough work. It's a magazine to a fucking AK! What the hell are these people stocked with? Well, it looked like I Troy was carrying an AK, I guess. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge, and I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. I truly believe that was the intent. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but... I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. Well, but Bonnie, I guess you meant well, well, but this is what happens when you follow a madman. It's all I can offer right now. Good intentions still turn to shit. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. It was cold. Well, you got them skinny arms, and you ain't wearing a jacket. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. Why didn't you? Leave, I mean. If I'm being honest, I guess I chickened out. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. <laughs> I mean, I You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. <laughs> Clementine, you're such an adorable little smartass. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. He killed Walter and Alvin. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Alvin killed George when he escaped. He might not have meant to, but George died all the same. 
ain't no saints in all this. Bill I suppose she's right there. In the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. What do you think? That's a pretty sweet jacket. I think it might be for skiing. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. Fuck you too, Tavia. I'll see you this later. jacket rules. You just jelly, you poofy haired bitch. Follow me. Come on. We're hiring now. Nice. That's a nice little touch. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. <laughs> all we need is to start growing some pot in here and we'll all be good. Hey. That's what we need. Just grow some nice weed and everybody will just calm down. Okay? I know it's it's gotta be hard. My dad never hit me before. Even when I was really bad. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. I'm sorry okay, I fucked you over last job. night, Reggie. Cat I will do my best. Us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Oh, also, Reggie has an adorable you voice. Morning for what you were doing last night. I'm not mad, but please, please just listen to me today. I'm on like the thinnest ice with that guy. Pick up a pair of those shears. I'm honestly curious if his voice actor is gay, because he kind of sounds like it. <laughs> okay, now we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Sounds easy enough. Also, these berries are very, very obviously 2D. Okay, so, is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I talked to her. I think she's okay. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. I got your back, Reggie. <laughs> was awkward? That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. <laughs> oh, Reggie, you're so weird, but I love it. Come on, Sarah, you gotta do it, or you're gonna get us all in trouble again. You already fucked up once, don't fuck up again. Fuck, do I help her, or do I just do my own work? Fuck, fuck, fuck. I really don't know which one I should do. Uh, I would probably help her. Fuck. I have a feeling this is gonna be hey. not the proper choice. Here, watch me.
This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, fuck, fuck, fuck. You work, Clem. <laughs> I was helping in. her because she wouldn't she fucking do it by herself. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bell, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm, Shut up, so shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. So this is one of the parts I had spoiled for me accidentally by my roommate, and now I'm wondering if there's any way to avoid what's about to happen, because he picked a different option than the one I just picked. Fuck. It really wasn't his fault, it was Sarah. She just wouldn't fucking do the damn work. I mean, yeah, I know it sucks that your dad slapped you, but suck up and do the work. Christ. None of us want to do this, but we all do it anyway. I gave you plenty of chances. No, 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 please. Wait. That's a dead ass motherfucker. Risk, and it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Yes, yeah, Sarah. Jesus. Oh god, what's he gonna do to her now? Okay, so, video's been going on close on 40 minutes, and judging by the trends, normally if I cut them off at around 40-45 minutes, I'm able to get them at kind of equal lengths, so I'm gonna end the first video here. Uh, thanks everybody for watching, I'm really enjoying episode 3 so far. Uh, well, honestly, I don't know if enjoying is quite the right word, because most of this has been really fucked up. But there have been some funny bits and some interesting bits, and I'm just really, really, really hoping that I get to see Carver dead within the next couple of episodes when they do come out. So, again, cut the first video off here. Stay tuned for part two. It will definitely be up quite soon after part one is out.